now that uh, th there was this recent news only that uh, India has got access to the uh, to a port in Oman. Also. So earlier we were we were it was with, and it was mainly we were just buying and selling. So now we are coming up. We are uh, we are uh, trying to build up relationships in which we can also contribute. Our economy also gains and our. Uh, so you are establishing more permanent relationships. Yes, sir. Permanently, permanent relationship, long-lasting relationship. Best Asia. Okay. Yes, Other areas. Sir, um, in uh, sir, for, uh, sir, in uh, in Japan also. Like right now, Japan comes from my mind. Uh, Japan, uh, with Japan, India has uh, India has uh, opposed this uh, India Africa Growth Corridor, in which India and Japan will uh, together they'll try to they'll uh, build infrastructure in the African region. India, what growth corridor? Sir, India Africa Growth Growth Corridor. India Africa Growth Corridor. Yes. Sir. And where does Japan come in? So Japan, uh, Japan is a developed country. It has a lot of funds. It has expertise. So it can, it can, and India has very good links with the African countries. So the 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 connectivity, the the good relations that India and Japan have, they can be leveraged in building up infrastructure, which can help. Uh, which can help boost uh, spending by uh, Japan in these countries. Is Japan a part of our East Look East policy? Sir, earlier it was not, but uh, of late, uh, especially after uh, our Prime Minister uh, uh, mm. initiated the Act West, uh, Act East policy, so the Far East region has also come apart, become a part of our uh, Eastern outreach. Uh, you are an athlete. Best athlete for two years in school. Yes, I tried to take part mm -hmm. uh, part whenever I could in uh, sports. So, are you continuing with that uh, habit? So, of late, I've been uh, basically I've been jogging. Uh, I could not. Uh, I mean, uh, at school and at college level, I tried to take part in everything that was going on. So, I just entered the field wherever sports were going on and I took part. Right now, I uh, jog every day. In the budget. Um, I'm told that this year's budget is giving a lot of emphasis in the area of sports. And the Prime Minister, as, as usual, calls it Hello India. Yes. Can you tell us something about it? Sir, I would not be able to uh, say precisely regarding this budget. Okay. Is other than Hello India, is there any area of the budget in which you can speak with confidence? In the area of education, agriculture, health. Medicine. So regarding this year's budget, uh, there has been a lot of uh, emphasis on agriculture. It has also been uh, uh, said that it, this page budget is basically for farmers. Mm -hmm. So there has been a proposal to uh, 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 pay the farmers in the form of FMSP 1.5 times the production cost. And uh, so, this is so for you, the agriculture has been the most important. Sir, I would say that. Uh, I would say that this is being said, and uh, I would uh, that is that is what I read. That okay. is also I felt, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't say that it is for uh, agriculture only. You would like to <coughs> That's okay. Punjab. What are the problems that Punjab is facing uh, these days? Sir, Punjab. Major problems and how how they are being attempted to be solved. Sir, so uh, to put it, uh, to put it uh, in points, I would say that uh, the uh, problems that Punjab is facing currently are uh, a stagnant uh, productivity in agriculture, a lack of industry, and uh, a lack of uh, suitable employment opportunities for the youth. And uh, it, has also, it has also faced a, a terrorist attack uh, in the pa la last, last year. So there is also an issue of uh, cross-border uh, infiltration. And uh, the soil, uh, there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of uh, usage of uh, water for uh, agriculture, which has also led to the downfall in the water table of the depletion of depletion of the water. Table. Water. Yes. And um, sir, I think this will require a holistic approach from the. Uh, on so the you mean to say whatever was shown in Urta Punjab does not the ground reality, the drug problem. Sir, uh, Urta Punjab was, uh, I would say that Urta Punjab was a movie and, uh, and a movie, movies are supposed to exaggerate for the people, no, for the purpose of the entertainment of the audience. Yeah. And uh, 
they, it, it is right to some extent, but I would, I would definitely say that it was not the ground reality, whatever is shown there. Okay, what are the attempts to address uh, these issues, let's say, <coughs> underground water conservation? So, what is being done? Because even today there is a big news on conservation of water. Sir, uh, regarding uh, conservation of water, the uh, central government has uh, initiated the, uh, the uh, sustainable uh, uh, agriculture practices, for example, uh, micro-irrigation and uh, sustainable, uh, sustainable agriculture which involves uh, lesser usage of water. There is zero tillage, uh, this technique, and uh, the farmers basically need incentives to invest in this, uh, in this area, which can do with a lot of more improvement. But yes, there are these initiatives. But do you think use of excessive plastic is stopping the even rainwater from going under the earth? And that is one of the reasons so what we need to do is a big attack on improving the aquifer. Uh, sir, uh, sir, the fact that uh, plastic can hamper the percolation of water is true. But uh, I would say that I'm not aware of any such reports. Okay, fine. Or let's, let's move to, you are interested in movies. Yes. So which is the last movie you watched? Sir, so I watched Hindi Medium. It was aired on TV recently. Hindi Medium? Yes. So what were the lessons uh, you learned? You think it was realistic? Sir, I think movies are meant to exaggerate a little. But yes, it, uh, it, was, it was definitely uh, close to reality. First of all, I felt that uh, every parent, whether they are rich or uh, poor, every parent wants the best for their children, and they would, they would go to any extent. But what extent, to what extent they will go, it depends on person to person. There are the second time people. you are making the statement that movies are meant to exist. Any movie that you think you have watched, which which was very close to reality, sir. Uh, as far as <laughs> Sir, I would say that uh, uh, I watched uh, from the accounts of history that I've uh, that I know as far as I know. I watched uh, Dunkirk, which was a mission of for uh, evacuation of soldiers from the French coast. So the I'm talking of Hindi movies. Hindi movies started with Bollywood. Okay, sir. So right now nothing is coming. You have watched Newton? Yes, sir. I I've watched it, but what are banking sector reforms? After the problems of NPA were highlighted, yes. and government has taken a number of steps to improve the banking system. So, can you list some important banking sector reforms? Yes, sir. Uh, sir uh, both government and RBI. Hmm? Both government and both, RBI. Both government and RBI. Yes. So, the government has uh, taken this initiative to uh, reform the boards of the uh, public sector banks. So that there is more accountability and transparency in the kind of uh, loans that are being uh, given out to corporates and other companies. And uh, secondly, there is the RBI has started the process of uh, resolution and uh, where in the government's uh, uh, recognition, where the banks are supposed to reveal the NPAs that are on their books because they had been pushing it under the carpet. And uh, so there is uh, there is a recapitalization. Recently, there was uh, there was an allocation of 2.11 lakh crores. Or recapitalization of banks. Hmm. 2.11 lakh crores? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. I think the last question I want to ask you is impact of GST on the informal sector. Because, Swim, your one of the hobbies led me to ask yes, you this. How are these people working in the informal sectors? They were impacted by GST. Yes, sir. So, GST. Uh, uh, according to the recent budget ex estimates, it was uh, shown that there has been a rise in 50% 50 50, uh, 50 rise in indirect taxpayers. So I think uh, these informal sector people, they are uh, trying to trying to get into the formal sector, for, formalize their businesses so that they can also avail the incentives that uh, governments provide to micro, medium and small So it is good because there are very conflicting reports. Some say these people are now without any employment. Some people say they are joining the formal sector yes sir so that is uh, that is also true because uh, it uh, it definitely when there is such a sea change in the manner things are run people who are uh, less who are less uh, resourceful or less aware of these changes they are bound to suffer 
So in this case, I think uh, there has to be uh, there there is in fact, and there has to be a more uh, more generous push. Oh, okay. I think the happen. issue gets flat, so solution will not. Yes. What is so special about Chandigarh? Sir, uh, I've stayed in Chandigarh for uh, many years, and I think it is uh, there are a number of special things, but uh, mm, it is it is a city that is open to a lot of people. It is very diverse when I compare um, to Daspur with Chandigarh. There are uh, there are people from different states in Chandigarh, so I think that is the most special thing about Chandigarh. So, what is it called as uh, the first planned city in the country, and uh, is it relevant to today? That sort of planning. Sir, uh, so it is called the first planned city because uh, it was the first planned city. It was built from the ground. It was built from scratch and it was planned beforehand. Uh, a special area was designated and it was planned accordingly. And uh, sir, yes, I think uh, planned uh, settlements and planned cities uh, are... Is it smart and in terms of the current defense of the smart city? Sir, it is on the way to become smart because recently we have introduced uh, smart parking and uh, it will become smart, but right now, uh, if we consider the full definition of a smart city, I wouldn't say that it is a smart city. So, just give me three, four features of a smart city. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, a smart city would have uh, public transport, which is uh, inter. Uh, people can use different modes of public transport in city with a single, uh, with a single possession, with a single card. Uh, secondly, uh, if there would be a fully functional drainage system, and uh, there would be no logging water and uh, during storm, storms, etc. Thirdly, there would be uh, there would be spaces for people and old, children and old people to spend their time and uh, fourthly, it would be safe for everybody. Okay. Now, the latest energy source for the country is uh, likely to be solar in the future. Yes. What future do you see for this? Is it going to be good or bad or is it going to be slow or fast? What is your prognosis of the arrival of solar energy in our country? So the prognosis I would say is positive because we have added a lot of capacity recently and uh, we have to take into account all the possible uh, all the possible spin uh, spin-offs and the negative impacts uh, such a, a big push for solar that would uh, that would it, it would bring so for, uh, and for instance we have to take care of the uh, the waste, e-waste, which it will generate, and uh, I think it would. I think uh, if we take uh, the supply and demand side into account, so it will be good for the country because uh, we are over dependent on uh, external supply of coal and fuel. Okay, yeah, but the green revolution good or bad for Punjab? Uh, I beg your pardon. Sir. Was the green revolution good or bad for Punjab? What's your overall assessment of the? Fallout of the Green Revolution. Sir, uh, personally, I feel that uh, it was bad for Punjab because uh, people, for people of Punjab, it was bad because uh, it has led to uh, over exploitation of the land and the fertility of the land has degraded. There is widespread pollution of soil and uh, there is overuse of pesticides. People have got used to the idea of availability of water. They do not value water. So, I feel that it was bad, but overall for the country's supply of grain, grain and sufficiency, it was good. And in the long run, we can make it good for all. Okay, one last question. What is the problem with Aadhaar? Why do people talk about it again and again? What, what is bugging the you know, persons uh, on the Aadhaar issue? Sir, Aadhaar is, uh, Aadhaar is basically problematic from the, uh, from the point of view of privacy because uh, it is said that people's privacy would be intruded with such a widespread infrastructure for, uh, that is, uh, for identification because we do not because it is prone to prone to be hacked and uh, people may uh, un uh, access databases without authentication and authorization. What do you say about uh, this idea of who will be the 
lift the single most contribution of lift is the act of segregated castes and genders in institutions yes. and solar system he started well by addition of capacity then he immediately went on to management of the waste as like two unrelated so please concentrate uh, so you are from this is the background that you come from so we are clear about this yes. okay and uh, similarly when you answered about international relationships or you answered about uh, uh, philosophical things you you tended to be a little gentle Absolutely, especially. There is no need for you to get into whether it was a thing. What is it? It's simply say that what this is what a philosophy thing is. Obviously, it has its merits. Otherwise, it would be different. And which king will not be? And which country will not like to have a king which is who is interested in public good rather than personal good? Yes. A philosopher is sad, but philosopher thing is that individual. Who looks into the interest of the welfare of the general public rather than using the power for its own benefit? Simple. You should be as dry and cut and dry as possible. As honestly, I have never heard of this thing called India Africa cross border. Has any good sense? I mean, one of the many schemes in India is Japan relationships. Okay. Counter to this. India growth. India Africa growth corridor. Counter. and it's synchro it is it is launched yeah. india has started on the table discussion on it but i don't know the details on I mean, india has a growth corridor i also not known that india is actually where did you read it so it was all over the news last year when i was preparing for mains it was the last year 2017 yes so after that they completely forgot about it that means it really didn't follow up So basically, the yeah, what I'm saying is, international relationship is very important yes, just now, and they will talk talk about India's relationship with Pakistan, Iran, which are with China, which are with Pakistan, yes. which are with Far East, which are with West Asia, which are with America. Whenever I will suggest that you prepare proper answers for each other, and don't expand too much. Be precise. And answer only if there is a follow-up question. So, suppose I ask you the question that I put is, have you, you you can say that okay, government India has taken initiatives to re-establish its position vis-à-vis all these areas, and yes. to that extent, both diplomatic and administrative extent has been initiated. Yes. Some uh, first answer should be pattern based. Just don't try to explain too many things in the first half. Yes, yes. Okay. And the last is the same question. Then you, otherwise you are likely to get into soup. Yes. Like to get into soup. So we prepare these questions. And one or two points. For instance, your answers about the ideal answer was regarding the problem is the jam. Yes. You categorically mentioned four. Yes. Which is very good. That's how it should be. And when you count the four. Put a counter question to you. Drag the picture. You were very categorical. You said no. He didn't follow it up. But the board member is likely to ask why do you come to that conclusion? Because what you are saying is contrary to what has been reported. Yes. So whenever you have to, so your answer should be like what you have answered about Punjab. Okay. And the same thing you mentioned about green revolution also. You were very clear in green revolution yes. that this is not really benefited Punjab. Yes. So, this is, so basically, both these things lead to a concept of sustainable agriculture. Yes. And agriculture should be sustainable, should protect the environment. It should not be at the cost of something. Yes. That's what you meant, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Punjab missed out on sustainable agriculture. Yes. So your answer should be the answer that you gave about Punjab. Okay, sir. And you answered about Chandigarh. Chandigarh, it has many people. Every place has got many people. People from many states. So the special thing is, Chandigarh was the first flower state. Yes. So when you answer quickly, you miss out on the most the core issues. Yes. So that is something that that is something that you have to really look into. 
So yes. fundamentally, I would suggest that whenever you prepare these things, these are important topics as well. You write down your answers, and your effort should be to first come out with a statement which is very precise, which is very brief, and which addresses the core issues. And then follow it up with subsequent answer. If they ask you, then life will become easy for you. Okay. Other than that, I suppose it's everything is fine. Like a bank sector reforms also you get three important issues. Answer them pretty to the point. I think that's it. Is there anything that you want to ask us? Sure. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. All sir. the best to you. Thank you sir. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update.